Now let's understand what are external economies and diseconomies. First point is cheaper raw material and capital equipment. As the form grows, it tends to get cheaper raw material because the firm purchases in bulk and since it purchases in bulk the seller tends to sell at a discount or tends to give you at a cheaper rate this leads to reduction in per unit cost and leads to economy same is the case with capital equipment for producing more a bigger machine may be employed which might double the production so bigger machines which are employed which we call as capital equipment may lead to reduction in per cost of production they may also occupy lesser spaces so this might again lead to cost savings so all these activities are because of external factors that is the seller of the raw material that is the seller of the capital equipment these are not the activities with activities which are internal to the firm these are external activities and thus when economies arise because of these factors we call it external economies arising due to cheaper raw material and capital equipment second is technological economies now what is technological economies technological economies means the economies that you have accrued economies that have come to you because of a better technology and advanced technology now as the firm grows it tends to get into a upgraded technology what this does is this leads to a faster production or production at a lower rate lower rate in terms of money so when economies arise because of technological reasons we call it economies of scale because of technology development of skilled labor now let's assume that the labor becomes skilled because of education or because of training or because of experience or any reason the laborers in the country become skilled what will happen is these laborers once they become skilled automatically will increase the productivity of the firm they can be used for the activities or the works which require a lot of skill and hence the cost of per unit may decrease or the scale may increase initially where a lot of skill was required from laborers such activities such products were not produced more now since the labor is skilled the production will increase the scale will increase and this is called as economies of scale and when you arrive when you derive economies of scale because of skilled labor because of specialization of labor you call it economies of scale due to development of skilled labor growth of ancillary industry we've already discussed what ancillary industry means ancillary industry means that industry which is related to your industry either you get raw materials from that industry or you supply to that industry any industry which is directly or indirectly related to your own product related to your own industry is ancillary industry like i gave you the example of manufacturing of a bike now if you are into an industry of manufacturing bikes ancillary industry for you would be the industry of iron and steel 
the ancillary industry would be the industry manufacturing tires the ancillary industry for you would be the industry which manufactures nuts and bolts the ancillary industry again will be the iron and steel industry all these will become the ancillary industries now if each of these ancillary industries grow you will tend to come out with a better product or you might come out with a product at a cheaper rate or you might come out with a product which requires lesser time to get produced so when the ancillary industries grow you also tend to grow you also tend to increase your production and when this happens we call it economies of scale due to growth of ancillary industries finally better transport and marketing facilities now this is very simple to understand that if you have better transport facilities better marketing facilities you'll obviously tend to earn more when it was not possible for a firm to sell to a place where there were no transportation facilities let's say there were no roads or a bridge was required between two cities and it was not there the firm was not able to grow because it could not sell into the other city but now let's say there is a bridge connecting the two cities now the firm can send its product to the other cities and sell it there this will lead to the growth of the firm because the production of the firm will increase per unit of the per unit cost of the firm will decrease profitability of the firm will increase so what is happening is because of better transportation and facilities better roadways better railways better water transport your sales increase your production tends to increase your cost of production tends to reduce and finally your profit tends to increase same is the case with marketing if there are better marketing firms in the market you will tend to derive economies from it since they are able to sell more you will be able to produce more at a lower rate so these are the economies which a firm derives from the external factors not from its internal factors but from its external factors factors which are not within the control of the firm and so therefore these are called external economies of scale however in all these factors there are diseconomies attached as well when you go on purchasing more raw material though it may be at a cheaper rate you tend to incur holding costs you need more space to hold that raw material same is the case with machinery if you are purchasing more or better machinery you will again need to have more space this will lead to increase in cost and thus you will incur this economies again if you go on upgrading your technology after a point you will tend to get diseconomies from it because you will tend to expend unnecessarily more on it and once you start doing it you will get diseconomies from technological factors now let's assume that the labor has become very skilled though when the labor becomes very skilled it will tend to increase the production however skilled labor will always demand more skilled labor will always want more wages even for simple task you will have to employ skilled labor where you do not require skilled labor but since the labor in the country is skilled you will have to employ skilled labor for that so what will happen is your cost of labor will increase and once this happens you tend to get diseconomies from it 
growth of ancillary industry is also very dangerous for the firm what happens is many a times when ancillary industries grow they tend to charge because the industry ha- the ancillary industry has grown the players or the firms in those industries tend to become tend to become bigger and when they become big they tend to charge a higher rate from you they tend to dictate terms to you so then you start getting this economies of scale there is also a possibility that the firms from the ancillary industry may do a forward or backward integration and get into a direct competition with you and hurt your sales directly in that case you will again incur this economies of scale with better transport and marketing facilities there comes a higher cost attached to it it is quite possible that you get better transport facilities and better marketing facilities but you do not require it yet you have to pay road taxes yet you have to pay tolls again with marketing it is quite possible that you do not require marketing to a large extent but because the firms are developed whatever marketing that you require comes at a higher cost since the marketing firms are developed since the marketing firms are very good players in the market so they may want to charge more from you so you unnecessarily tend to bear cost because of better transportation facilities because of good marketing firms in your industry so these are all diseconomies derived from external factors and we call them diseconomies of scale from external factors